Hello everybody, welcome back to our kitchen. So I hope this video finds everybody healthy and well and safe. Um, have a really good video for you guys today. Um, for those of you that are tuning back in and for those who may not have seen us yesterday, yesterday's video we kind of did a little bit of a detour. We talked about um, eggplant parmesan. You know, as you know, we're, you know, with all this stuff that's been going on with COVID-19, it's causing people to really take a, a, a closer, harder look at our health and what we're eating and what we're doing to help uh, better ourselves and our bodies. So Dominique and I, of course, um, you know, you guys may not think so, but, you know, I would like to be my healthiest and we're talking about weight loss and how to eat better. So we decided to do a vegetarian meal yesterday and that vegetarian meal was uh, eggplant parmesan and then we also did a pasta and broccoli uh, broccoli cheddar pasta uh, kind of like on the side and it turned out so good you guys I really enjoyed it it was um, really good it was really really good Amazing, um, we actually. still have a little bit more I think I'm going to actually be having some more of that for lunch um, I, I think really I ate really it up it. oh what <laughs> no, I'm I hope not so yeah um, I really thoroughly enjoyed that it was in for those of you um that are just tuning in if you want to look at the previous video um, to see what I did to make the eggplant parmesan really simple soup or really super simple that is to me yes is um, and also it's really easy really quick um, for those that are vegetarian if you're not vegan and you know you kind of are able to handle a little parmesan cheese this will be a good recipe uh, for you so um, also I wanted to kind of go over with you guys what I also will be doing in the future. I'm also going to be doing some canning. Remember how we all talked about the pressure canner? We're going to be bringing that guy back out again. Um, just to do one, uh, one more show with you guys about pressure canning and the importance of canning fresh uh, vegetables and things like that to store up for your family in case of emergency. That way you have fresh uh, fruits that you know have emergency purposes and then also just to help build up your pantry it also helps you to have things on hand that you personally know what has gone into your fruits and into your vegetables you know that they have been made with no preservatives and all the other different chemicals that are possibly in canned goods these days so that's a really really huge advantage of um, canning your own vegetables is the fact that you personally know what went into your jar of, uh, of goods. So um, I'll be more than happy to share that with you guys. We have some beautiful vegetables. I think I'm going to be doing squash, green beans, uh, carrots, and I think, um, yeah, I think carrots, squash, green beans, and I think maybe one other vegetable. It just probably escapes me at the minute, but beautiful, beautiful squash. Um, and these uh, vegetables and things like that that we can uh, pressure can it's the reason why we pressure can as I said before is to uh, keep out uh, food toxins uh, that way you can enjoy these things uh, for months down the road to come this is something that can carry your family for months so um, it's definitely something that you really want to tune in uh, for um, and that you'll enjoy so on a further note I've just been in here cooking um, you know, um, prepare my jars and everything like that. Just doing a little bit of cleanup around the house. Um, I kind of had, uh, you know, for those of you that know me just yet, you know, I'm also a nurse as well. I work as a nurse and I work 12-hour uh, shifts. So I do about three 12-hour shifts in a row. Um, the last time, I think it was last week, I actually pulled maybe, I think maybe 13, I think close to 13 or 14 hours. Um, have been up since about five and really didn't get home until after seven so it was a very long day for me so you know on these days I really enjoy relaxing spending time with my husband and also enjoy uh, preparing these fruits and vegetables for you guys I enjoy cooking so it's something that's uh, enjoyable for me and it helps me to relax so and with that being said I'll be more than happy to share with you guys what we have been working on come Smithers come so Smithers. take a look here. Yes, Smithers. So guess what this little ditty is right here, you guys. Guess what this E is. Hey Tasha, can you guess what that is right there? Can you take a wild guess. <laughs> yeah. Take a wild guess, Tasha. A wild guess, you guys. What do you think that is right there? Take a guess. 
That looks amazing. See how huh. wonderful this I think does. they should already know because I put it in the title. Yeah, you should. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that's so bad if you don't. But yeah. as some of you know, we have been talking about um, doing some of our preserves, jellies, jams, um, and marmalades with different fruits. So today I decided to go ahead and do a preserve with some fresh mango. So this is our mango preserve. Got beautiful, beautiful color here. Mm. Smells great. Um, it's really taken, uh, taken on a wonderful uh, texture here. So I'm going to um, be ladling this into my prepared jars right here, as you well know. We've got our lids sitting over here that have been sterilizing in boiling water. Okay. And we also have um, my jars here that I have actually taken and I cleaned them with hot soapy water. Uh, with a touch of bleach. I like working with bleach. It smells awful on your hands, but I do work with it. Hey, it kills the germs. Yeah, it kills the germs. So that's what typically what I like to work with my jars. Run them in super hot water and then, um, you know, most times I will slide them into the oven and I will kind of leave them uh, heated for a bit. So what I'm going to do, because our jars have been here for a little while, I'm going to, because our water gets very, very hot. So what I'm going to do I'm going to just simply run very hot water back into our jars. And that's really just Hello, for right Mr. now. Hello, Mr. Coggins. How's it going, sir? To bring this back up to temperature. How's it going, Mr. Coggins? The reason why you want your jars to be up to temperature is also so that you do not shatter them. So it's not just for cleaning purposes, but remember this jam that I've been working on, this mango jam, I mean uh, mango preserve, this is very hot. Hot boiling preserve, so you never want to put anything that's real hot into a glass jar. We can't that's give cold. you the recipes. Uh, she said, she said she need recipes. That don't have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> so we're ladling that in while it's nice and hot there. Okay. Well, that's yeah, that's sort of like a, a family recipe, Tasha. Jar one. That's a business recipe. I can't give you that one. We give you some recipes for some other stuff, but not a, not a preserves and stuff. This. How's it going, Mr. Steven? So we've got our chunks of mango. So, mango gorgeous. preserves, ladies and gentlemen. Mango preserves. It's going down, you guys, You see, right she now. put it through the ladle. Yeah. This is funnel Fresh right here. It's through just, the presses. Yeah. And this is just... Off the presses, I'm sorry. Yeah, off them, on them, you know. Presses be running. Wow. So, this is... And we have actually a little bit left over. So, what I may do is just grab... Another oh, yeah. smaller jar and probably put that in there. But for right now, we've yielded ourselves about four jars. I have another jar that I have cooling uh, doing, in the fridge because we are doing good, Mr. Tests. Coggins. What's your favorite preserve or jam or jelly, Mr. Coggins? Let us know. Yeah. So we have lots <laughs> of flavors for you she guys. She said, don't kill her. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry. I won't. I'm not trying to get in trouble with God. <laughs> So I'm just going over the lip of my jar just to make sure that it's clean and to make sure that there's no food or anything on the rim of our jars. You always want to have clean lips on the jar. This is the lip or the rim of the jar. Then afterwards, now that we've got our hot lids that have been boiling in here, you want to take these and grab it with your magnetic tool. If you ever start canning or jamming, nah, this that's that's my religion. Uh, uh, uh Mr. Kai, I gotta keep my hair. I took a took a little vow for a little while, so that's a, a Christian thing. So yeah, I'm growing my locks out. I took yeah. a Nazarite vow. So yeah, yeah. And my brother, somebody he said he can't pay for me until I cut my hair. Like, my hair ain't got nothing to do with it. Oh yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, take that up with God. <laughs> yeah, that'll be uh, that'll be your loss. <laughs> These yeah. taste really good. It tastes real good. Very, very good. So, what I'm gonna do um, with our lids as I'm pulling the lids out of the hot jar, I'm taking a clean towel, and I like to kind of go around the edge, the inside of the uh, lid, the actual lid here, or the bands. They are also known as bands. I like to go uh, on the inside of this because what you don't want to have happen, remember, you are dealing with metals, and right. metals get rusty. Okay, right. they they get rust. You know, they've been in water, they sit in water, and 
you right. know, water produces rust with metals. We don't want that. So that's why I personally like to um, dry it off on the inside. It's a little extra step, but I think it's worth it. So that's what we're going to be doing here. And then after I finish with these, we're going to go ahead and put them in our water canner. For those of you who have not seen uh, some of my canning videos, this is a water canner. Yeah. Water canner is very different. Oh, you said you can't canner. play for you. Oh, I misunderstood you, Mr. Coggs. I apologize. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. I wish I would have stuck to baseball. I was really good at it, though. I was really good. But like I told you, uh, Mr. Coggins, I didn't have nobody to give me a ride out to the uh, ballpark. And that's why I sort of just stopped playing baseball and started doing uh, football and stuff like that. But if I had to do it again and know, knew the type of money that I could have got as a baseball player, I definitely would have tried to walk to the to the place. Okay, but you know so. how it was in El Dorado. A lot of those uh, rich guys, they had access to the cars and and you know all this kind of stuff. So it was it was sort of it was sort of rough. So, but you know it, it worked out. It worked out the way I guess it was supposed to work out. You know. So I thank God for you because you you know for the fact that you took up time with a, especially in that town with a lot of uh, black boys in. El Dorado, and I look up to you and I honor Hello, you so for that still to this day. Yes, sir, you have a blessed day as well. You have a blessed day. But yeah, so as she's getting more jars, as you guys can see here, she has the mango jam popping. Uh, also, let me see, can I lift this up? Lift up what? Yeah. Nice pretty boiling water in there. See the nice boiling water? See the pretty water. Hopefully I don't drop uh anything in it. So eventually Yeah, I know that would not be good. So eventually what end up happening is we'll end up taking those jars and we'll end up dipping those jars in the boiling water for like what about 15 minutes? Yeah, about 15. About 15, 20 minutes. Okay, so, I think I may have used up all of my smaller jars or I forgot where I meant. What now what are you trying to do, babe? So what we're going to do, um, I wasn't able to get a hold of the small, one of my smaller jars, but what I will do, um, I'm just going to go ahead and I'll transfer that into one of my um, other type of uh, glass containers that have like the plastic lids. We won't let that stop us. So now what we're going to do, we're going to move on to the next phase. That next phase is going to be taking our newly hot mango preserves and we're going to put them into the water canner for processing. Okay. Water can is going to process this, and when we take it out, and this is how you put this in there, okay, you're going to use a tong. Mm -hmm. so you want to use your tongs. That's this tool right here, see? So that's the tool you want to use. Of course, you never want to stick your hand in there. Um, oh, unless you are glutton for pain or something, you can stick yeah, your hand in boiling yeah, water. I hope you're not into that sort of thing. You know, some people are. I mean, they have a show called Thousand Ways to Die for a Reason. Yeah, that is very true. <laughs> We're going to sit our smallest jar there. Okay. Try to get our jars to sit up a little right there. There we go. Want them to sit up right. I'm going to add a little bit of hot water to it because I did have a previous batch in there that right. um, I had placed in there and then the water level went down. Typically you want to have at least about a one to two inch uh, water level above the top of your jars. So that way they're fully submerged in the water. Hey Tasha, you, uh, oh, oh Tasha said I love her. <laughs> uh, <laughs> love we, you too. We love you too. So we're just going to add that down in there and make sure, that's about a quart of water, one of our quart jars. Typically, those are the jars I use for pressure canning. But that is that. So that's down in there. We're going to let those process for you know, oh, maybe 15, 20 minutes in that boiling water. Then when we take it out, it will do this. It'll make this popping sound. And that popping wow. sound is what you want to hear. That's the sound of air escaping out of the jar. Mm -hmm. And that air, that air that's coming out of your jar, that's what's going to help to pressurize it. So as the air gets val is vacuumed out through the cooling process, so as it cools down, that air comes out, and then you're going to hear this cool, like a popping sound. 
Okay. Like a bottle oh, popping sound. That's the sound yeah, of the police. Like, uh, uh, that's the sound of the police. You wrote a song? No. Okay. I'm like, what hood were you in? Talking about, er, uh, er. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. I'm messing the song up, brother. Er, <laughs> er. Uh, uh. I'm like, uh, I don't know. But yeah, so that's that with our uh, jars. So now we're going to do a taste test. We take taste one of test. our jars that have been kind of cooling in here. Ooh. So live taste is, test. Yeah, this is a taste test for our three newest members of our jam and preserve and marmalade Ooh, family. Newest We've members. got I love that. mango preserve, mango, right? That we mango. just have in there. Blueberries, you guys, for our blueberry fans. And we have our good old fashioned pear preserves. Oh, I'm gonna be like classic. I'm gonna be like Chanel. She was singing this song. It says strawberries the other day. Oh, she was like, Jesus. blueberries, oh, blueberries. Oh, and I was like, no, it's not blueberries, it's strawberries. <laughs> I, know, I know your point. <laughs> but you know what she meant. I know what you meant, but it was funny, though. <laughs> so we're going to take a, a taste test of beans. I made some French toast earlier, you guys. And when I tell you that when I tried our... So I reached back in there in the stash over there and I pulled out a jar of the uh, peach preserves and then I tried um, I also tried it with our new our also our new flavor our kumquat marmalade you yeah guys. we made watermelon preserve we still got some watermelon preserves don't we yeah we do yeah we got we have watermelon preserves right now and, and, and guess what Tasha guess guess who flavored it up your cousin right here it tastes yeah, he good really, with really, my really secret really ingredient that. that I put in it so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to warm up, I have a couple of bites of French toast that I'm going to warm up here to the microwave. Actually, it's watermelon jam more than anything. So she's warming that up in the, a bit. In the I microwave. I like one slice. I oh, we'll get ready to do, do a live taste test for the people that have just uh, logged on here. Oh, it's China. Love hey, you too. Girl. Love you too. So that's really all you can do. China can sing. What you do? I she sing, doesn't sing. She sang. She sang. So this is this is <laughs> our our new flavors that we're trying out here, in Chinatown. We've got our mango, blueberry, and our pear preserve. Yay! Mango, blueberry, pear. A bam. Got you color. So now we're gonna put like a little bit of the mm. mango preserve. Right. That's our mango. Boy, oh, boy, boy. Share, share this video if you can, folks. She said, you're all the bomb. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Tasha. Thank you. And we're going to also do, look at this gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm blueberry. saying thank you so much, but she talking about you. <laughs> because they talk about me, she's like, it's not you, Negro. Uh, it's all right. <laughs> you know, it takes two. It takes two. It takes two to make the yeah, thing go right. It sure does, honey. Tell me. I could not do this She be saying, so, is that just me, but... Sometimes the people say stuff and it reminds you of a song, and that song will be in your head all day. Like she just said, it takes two. So now the song is in my head. It takes two to make a thing go right. Ooh. Yeah, straight up. You took that all the way back. It takes two to make. Okay. Wow. It's a high pitch. <laughs> I got too, too much testosterone for that, baby. Yeah, like the fact that you had to go up that high. But this is going to be our pears. Look at that. So that's our pears. That joint good. So, that um, joint is good. Yeah, this is really gorgeous. I can't wait to really try it. really nice against the white of the beautiful plate here. Look at that. It looks so pear. beautiful. So that looks mm. really gorgeous. So, Y'all see that? Hey, China, what's your favorite preserved jam or jelly? After you, sir. There's a fork for oh, you. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'll let you go first and then. Now you guys, it's time to dig into Feel my this. reaction. Okay, so I, I think wanna, Thanks, cuz. I know you were. I was just being silly, cuz. I want to start with the pear, actually. The so. pear preserve live reaction? She about to do the, the salsa. She doing the hand. Stevie, if you're watching, you know what this is. <laughs> mm, so, I love the fact that the flavor of the pears and I use Anjou pears to make this. I love the fact that the pears, the flavor, the natural delicate flavor of the pears is still in here. It's like Thank it's you, Tasha, I messed up the song. Ingredients. Thank you, Tasha. That'll be chopping them songs. It's that looks delicious. Good. It's yeah, natural. It looks good. It's like a nice 
natural pear flavor. And again, you guys, when we make these fruits of it, these colors that you see in here, these are, this is not any food coloring or anything. The this natural. beautiful yellow that you see in these mango preserves, that's that fruit's natural color. We don't add any any uh, food colorings. We're not adding any uh, artificial like um, mango flavors or anything. Now the only the, the only thing that we've added stuff to, and I said we when I said we is B, and we're probably not going to do that when we get the real good batch. I just wanted to experiment with it. Was with the watermelon jam. With the watermelon jam, I added um, I added some Kool Aid to it. For just you folks that love Kool Aid. For you that like, love Kool Aid, and that Kool Aid set it off like Little Boozer said. It set it off. <laughs> it set it off for real. It set that thing off for real. Yeah, I was it was like, a tropical okay. punch. Because I was gonna leave it, you know, like leave it like it was. But I will say, and that's the fun thing about cooking. It's like you know, you <laughs> when you add your own spin on stuff, like that recipe becomes totally yours. Yeah. So now down. we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do our blueberry. Mm. And I'm gonna do mine here next. Mm -mm. Mm. Man, you had a Man. you had like a a, a saw the Paul experience, didn't you? Mm -hmm. oh What's your God. favorite flavor, China? And it, this is so good, you guys. That tart blueberry flavor coming through. Thanks for sharing. You can taste the lemon, the hint of lemon in it. She says she's interested in the watermelon. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. The watermelon was fire, though. I must the say watermelon that. off the hook. I said, okay, he took that to the next level. Yep, for real. Um, Seriously. But that, that was great. And now for our last the mango. Flavor, our new one. This is the one I'm, I want to see your reaction on this one. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. The mango really, really comes you out. You can't say a word, you just wave your hand. Yeah, seriously. Yes, <laughs> said it <laughs> all. <laughs> <laughs> that's so that's so I ain't gonna lie, I can't listen to Boozy. Boozy be having you ready to backslide. Uh-uh, give me this. <laughs> <laughs> like, this like, nah, I can't listen to this at all. Watermelon and strawberry. This is this is yeah, we got you guys. Strawberry we know is one of our classics. Um Chanel was one of our first persons to uh to taste the strawberry the strawberry off the hook the strawberry in china delicious yes. china says she liked the watermelon strawberry yeah the strawberry you were you were really like it yeah it really it, you were really really like it um i'm somebody yeah, she that said also the mango and she said y'all are doing it yep yeah the make girl we, we've had delicious we've had we had like a couple people ask us to do it yeah and it's been done honey so now it's your turn buddy so we gotta see now we're gonna see dominique's reaction Man, I got this. This is a dang shit. I got a little booze in my so head. So silly. Set this joint on. Set this joint on. Do 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 do. Okay. Set this You're joint so on. You're so silly. Oh. Well, this is. You're starting off with the pear preserve. Pear preserve. Alright. And that's pear. Mmm. And see how the pears. What do you think? It's good. You got cinnamon in it. No, I actually didn't add cinnamon it to it. It has some cinnamon, cinnamon to me. Oh, yeah, it does. It's <laughs> cinnamon to me. Yeah, I'll tell you. <laughs> you guys, I couldn't pronounce cinnamon either when I was a kid. I called it cinnamon. So now he's, what's this? We're going on with the blueberry. Blueberry. Okay, so that's our blueberry. Here we go. Mm. It's good to add lime to it. Lemon. I just added a little, yeah. I don't know what it is, you guys. When lemon you add lemon, it just really, really sets stuff off. Hi, Miss Doris. You need to give us a little boozy. <laughs> Set this joint off. Set this joint off. You are so joke. goofy. <laughs> I'm saved. But Tasha not... said, ain't no backslide. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you better slide your butt back on in. <laughs> I know, for real. Slide, Seriously. You better slide forward. I ain't got no way. Hey, I'm like, jump. Peter, he said, what did Peter say? He said, uh, uh, Jesus, he said, Master, you don't, you alone got the words that will save us. You know, you know, I'm talking about that scripture where he said, Where else are we gonna go, basically? Yeah, where are you gonna go? Look at this. Well, now he's on the mango, you yeah, guys. Man, this one, I'm, I'm really looking forward Baby, to. Baby, you getting like all the other flavors Ooh. in there? Tell me, right? That mango, right? Good afternoon, Miss Doris. That man, man. Mango is Hold right up. on point. Hold on. Nope. You see this, you guys? You see what I deal with? <laughs> Dominique Brown. Mango on the hook. 
He hmm. literally took like a heaping four oh four. Are God. you seeing this, you guys? Hold on, let me get some more. Dummy, stop it. Just live up, please, baby, please. I gotta have another hit of this. Another hit. Mm, mm, mm. You do realize that that's a jam, not like. Mm. I can eat this alone. This is standard. I'm sure you can't get here. Shame on him. No, honey. Look at <laughs> look at this jar, y'all. This jar started off full to the top. Look at where it's at now. You see this? I'm gonna have to watch him. I'm gonna have to watch I'll him. Be, I'll probably do a video of me sneaking in the refrigerator at night. It's <laughs> a jam. You so so. I mean, you see what I did with it. <laughs> But you know what? Now that you put that down, I can re-add the little extra in here. Naughty guy in here. So now she adding the extra. Yeah. Into it. back and refill our... She re oh, this is our personal stash, ladies and gentlemen, so you wonder. We're not sending this out to people like... No. Oh my God, they're eating down the customer's products. <laughs> no. <laughs> what are those Negroes doing? Like, no, that's our personal stash. We use that the quality... Quality, we are all quality control people, so we yeah, test absolutely. it out. Because if we don't like it, you're not gonna like it. So that's the thing. It's like you know, this Doris, that mango is delicious. I'm not even gonna lie. Who was it that um, threw out the mango? I think it was Miss Doris. That was you that Ms. said you Doris, first wanted. Was you? It was her, and it was An Miss Angela. Miss Doris and Miss Angela, you see the monster that you created? I'm gonna have to watch it with <laughs> Hey Tasha, for real, you I'm telling you. I'm gonna sneak a uh, Daddy, real talk. Don't do it. Probably around two or three o'clock in this in the morning. My wife gonna be asleep. I'm gonna sneak my butt right in here and give me a little bit more of that mango. That's so sad. <laughs> I'm so, so sad. Because, and I do mean it's sad. <laughs> that mango off the hook. So silly. Oh so my bad. god, that mango is off the hook. It's really good. And you know, like I said, there's some fruits that just have like that. Oh mm, my god. Just that extra. Thank you, Miss Doris and Miss Angela, for even suggesting that. Because I ain't going to lie, I was a little bit leery when y'all said to do it, but we had put our mu foot in the mouth and said, well, whatever you guys want, we're going to make it. Well, and it was cool. Mango is an awesome flavor, though. It is. I like mango, but I, I was sort of leery on it being a, a preserved jam jelly, whatever, spread, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, but well, mango's more. And like it's really a, good. That's my favorite this is one more now. It's like a premier, like a premier. This is like more of like a premium type of fruit. You know, mangoes can be Man, quite expensive. That is my favorite flavor preserve. off top. Mango preserve, you guys. Can I get some more? No, what? Uh, Baby, it's just our personal stash. Right there. I can't have some more? It, in there. Can I get some more? In there. Huh? There's some in there. Oh, okay, cool. Wow. Thank you. Here you go. Thank Give you me some more. Hold on. This is very sad. I mean, very <laughs> sad. You hear me? Well, at least my hair is looking a little better, guys. I don't be looking like... You said she like don't want to look like no peeking in it. Yeah, running around looking like I have no people, as my husband says. <laughs> like people be looking like they ain't got oh, no people. Oh, oh, old black people down south. Old oh, black people said, man, you going around looking like, uh, you know, we didn't raise you right. Look at that. Look at this. He's eating up. Mm. Look at this. Wow. It looks so good. So amazing. I think I've created a monster. You see this? Jesus Christ, I love this. I love it. I love it. So we're gonna have to <laughs> you guys are gonna have to have security around the uh we're gonna have to have security around the man. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Dominique Brown. This this is the last of it. No, yeah, I'm so sure. Dominique. Hmm. Wow. Oh my God! Thank you, Miss Doris. He's mm. literally eating this stuff. Oh my God! Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I'm have a sugar rush. That joint was off the hook. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh my God! That mango was good. And to Ooh. it, um, wow. And Since to that, you know, guys. We're going to be, I don't know if um, I've told you guys, we're going to be rolling out our samples starting uh, next week. So for those of you that have been waiting and have been following us, we can't wait to get samples in you guys. Miss Angela hands. just got on here too. Yeah, so we're going to be having those samples rolling out for you guys. We are so excited. We cannot wait for you guys 
to taste them and place your orders, telling us like which ones are Miss, your favorites. Miss Dora said that's like? a, a, a testament to your excellent cooking. Yay! <laughs> said, Man, press her. And maybe a hey, I had to come to Jesus moment, Miss Angela. <laughs> so now, now Dominique, now that you've had the the mango, which one would it be? If you had to choose, like AJ, would it be peach? Because I know he. I love peach. peach. Yeah. Would it be peach or would it be the mango? The mango. Wow. Really? Mango. You so did I? Let me ask you this: hmm. When I had a peach, I acted ignorant, right? Yeah, you pretty much did. But I, did I act that ignorant? Not ignorant, uh, is, folks. I will say this is the first time. Not ignorant, that ignorant. That ignorant. So I acted ignorant on the mango. This is the first time I've actually had him actually go in there and eat a bowl of preserves. Oh my God, those preserves were amazing. Like a looking like a honey bear in there eating stuff. And we were supposed to be losing weight. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and speaking of which, for the people that are in the process of of, of losing weight and, and doing that, we have uh, keto jams coming out too. Hopefully, in the next couple of weeks or so, it's a it's a product that we source with some friends that told us about. Uh, we're going to. Hopefully have keto friendly diet keto yeah. friendly jams that, well, you guys that are going to supplement the regular yeah. jams we have. The only difference is instead of it having natural pure cane sugar, yeah. we do not put uh, table sugar in any of these jams. This is like this the worst sugar in the world. Yeah, this is cane sugar. That cane we sugar. Cane sugar. For those of you that don't know, if you've ever gone to the grocery store, you know that natural cane when you open sugar cane. It is not white, white like that processed CNA sugar or mm -hmm. Domino sugar. That um, that real white sugar that has mm -hmm. to go through the sugar mill. They, um, I actually have watched oh, the camera going blurry, huh? With um, it might be because you may have some jam on my lens, but um, thank God I put the lid back on there. So yeah, um, I actually watched a documentary that shows the processing of sugar, and it's very extensive. It's like they put it through all these different processes. Where they send it through the mill, then after it goes through the mill, they have to like, you know, do all this different type of stuff to it and toss it with like different stuff. It's just like a whole thing. Whole other we'll situation. Be, yeah, a whole different situation. But we prefer to use cane sugar. Cane sugar still retains its natural color to it. Yeah. Um, and it still has um, a little bit color. better for you. Yeah. A little bit better for you. It's not a lot and, of it better. Yeah. It's more, it's more closer to the actual cane plant. It's, it's yeah. probably just been uh, after the cane juice and the uh, and the uh, then extracted from the cane plant. They probably just let it uh, evaporate. Yeah, it's a lot better for you. Yeah. Now, now the the other one that we're using, we're going to be using this product called Allulose in it, which is a, a sugar alternative. I do not like Splenda. Don't like the taste of stevia. Yeah, don't like uh, Zolotol. Zolotol makes you uh, go to the restroom a lot. I put it to you like that. A lot of Zolotol. lot of sugar alternatives uh, do that. Uh, Allulose, I don't think, does it so much, and it keeps a natural taste. So the difference is when, when we have the keto friendly sugar, it's not going to have cane sugar in it. Cane sugar in them at all is going to have allulose in them as a sugar. Substitute, right? So that's that's going to be the difference. Without it's going to be a key. Compromising the flavor, so we'll be, absolutely we'll be definitely running our test on those. Yeah, we will test it first. Man, we're not going to give it to you as whack. Sure that that's that's something that because um, we definitely want other people that you know can't have sugar or they're trying to stick to a particular diet. We want for you guys to be able to enjoy our jams as well without compromising your diet or your health. So we so Miss uh, Angela, uh, Miss Doris. We got a couple, like the other jams that you told us to get. Now, I'll be honest with you, Miss. I think it was you, Miss Angela. Maybe you, Miss Doris, uh, had talked about the papaya. We'll maybe do that, but the thing is we hate the smell of papaya. Papaya Not really smelling. stinks. Like, oh, my God. Well, we, you don't know. I'm going to do some well, research we, to find we, out how we, to cut that smell. Yeah, because it may be a way. Yeah. yeah. Probably we'll, the limit. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll guys. figure something out. Yeah, so... <laughs> I'm excited about it so far. You know, you guys' suggestions about different fruits and the fruit challenge has um, has it's panned bad. out really, really well. We've had some beautiful results. Um, like I said, we got beautiful um, old, what's considered old fashioned. Show, uh, show, pear. show, show the people again that just got on. That's the pear. That's a pear preserve. Yes, this is pear preserve. Pear. Old fashioned pear preserve. 
That We've was also really good got too. mango. Mango. Mm -hmm. This is our mango preserve. And then we also have classic blueberry jam. Bam. Blueberry jam. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. So we had both blueberry and blackberry. Mm -hmm. We got blueberry, blackberry. Strawberry. Strawberry. We, we, we get verified. We so got the all the berries. And raspberry, raspberry, too. Raspberry. Did we, we do, do raspberry? raspberry? Yeah, we did do raspberry. I forgot we did do raspberry. Did we do the raspberry? Yeah, I think we did. Did we? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Let me look. Trust me, it's not in there. That means we did them, dear. Yep, we did. I don't know. I'd have to look at our pantry. We did a lot. We did raspberry. We've done quite a bit. Like We got to do cherry, too. I don't know how I was worried to do that. Now, I'm, not you know, like, fan. I'm not a big fan. Let me not be discriminant. I am not a big fan. For those of you who are starting to get to know me, I hate cherry pie. Yeah. I hate it. Like That's like the worst pie to me ever. So, But I was like, okay, let me not be biased. Let me give the cherry... Cherry jam or cherry Didn't you just get a cherry bunt cake the other day? Nothing. No, that was no. lemon. I'm so true. No, uh, I'm lemon all day. Like I'm No, lemon. cherry cheesecake. No. I'm tripping. Strawberry. Okay. Yo, strawberry. But you know what? Like I said, we'll, we'll see. We do have some uh, cherries. These like different varieties of cherries. I love um, cherries. I just can't. I can't Especially for the people that have cheese. gout. Yeah, well. I can't set it up. cherries. My God. Yeah, I love I cherry. Know. I eat them whole with the eat whole. Yeah, with the seed them and everything. I yeah, I'm just so. not a big fan. But like I said, I'll play around with those and maybe see if that might change my mind about how I feel about cherries. Um, and we'll definitely explore the papaya. I'll so, try to look and so, see what I can come up with the smell. So, hey, you guys, do you all have any questions for us, real quick, in regards to the pear jam, the uh, the pear, the and mango, the or the, is very and the kumquat. Do you uh, you guys have any questions? And this is our kumquat. Yeah, that is a kumquat. That's the kumquat. It's really good. You guys have any questions? Like that Miss Doris said, "I can't hardly wait to purchase." God bless you, Miss Doris. Bless you guys. Hopefully, hopefully in the next couple weeks, we get ready to do a. Uh, matter of fact, today I'm gonna say this. I'm going to work on getting a Facebook fan page up. I'm going to send that to you guys in an invite. So go on ahead, like it, and share it. And then uh, probably within the next week and a half, two weeks, uh, have Start a web up website up, have the lo logos, you know, have all that type of stuff, uh, have it done. I may not even do the logo today because I forgot we need to, I mean, a Facebook fan page because I have to have the logo situated. Oh, yeah. So... But anyway, yeah, thank you guys. Be. Keep us in prayer. Please, you guys. Keep us in prayer. This is something that the Lord, you know, gave us, and we're just praying for it to take off and be prosperous. And, um, you know, just personally, as we have been doing our taste tests on these different things, you know, jams taste good, but it's just really nothing like homemade, um, homemade preserves and homemade jams. They just have a certain flavor and taste um, that when they hit your table, it's not the same as store-bought um, jellies and things that have a lot of additives and extra stuff to it that we don't need so i love you guys thank you guys for tuning in i can't wait to see you guys with the next uh big flavor bye bye love bye. you